1220 KBET. Santa Clarita in the year 2000. Charles Gill, regional vice president with JMB Retail Properties and regional manager of Valencia Town Center in the Santa Clarita Valley. How is the Valencia Town Center doing right now, and where is it going as we look toward the year 2000? We're certainly excited and enthused about the response that the, the community has given to Valencia Town Center. We opened uh, very strong with very high occupancy, and uh, we'll finish 19... 19- 93 with uh, even higher occupancy with the opening of, of the restaurants on town square and then also uh, a number of additional retailers in the center uh, where we see ourselves going in uh, the next uh, seven years uh, depends uh, a lot on the acceptance and, and the further uh, support from the community of the center and the demand for retailers that uh, the, that the community presents to us um, certainly, I would expect that uh, within the next seven years, we would see the development of, of uh, the additional department stores on the property and additional retail stores with the expansion of the shopping center. Uh, as everyone um, probably knows by now, we've reserved a spot out on Valencia Boulevard side of the shopping center for Nordstrom, and uh, we certainly hope that uh, we can uh, encourage them to uh, to come to our community by uh, by that time. Um, their coming and the additional department stores uh, really depends upon a number of factors. Uh, the, the economy in Southern California, uh, right now it's not uh, truly conducive to department stores locating and building here. Uh, and secondly, uh, certainly the support that the community gives the shopping center. Uh, the more shoppers, the higher the sales, the more attractive it is to uh, additional retailers to locate here. Um, and also I, I think the impact of uh, Additional retail in the area, particularly the uh, the development uh, within the next uh, uh, short future of, of Valencia Marketplace, will add yet another perspective to the retailing draw of the Santa Clarita Valley, and we certainly see that as a positive addition to the the retail that we're offering at Valencia Town Center. Uh, the stores at uh, Valencia Marketplace will be more of what we call the category killer type, uh, larger uh, larger square footage. Uh, more variety within uh, the, uh, the particular segment of whether it's toys, electronics, or whatever kind of, of retailer might locate there. And that's just one more reason for people to, to shop and continue to support the Santa Clarita Valley rather than going elsewhere. Tell us more about the Valencia Marketplace. The uh, Marketplace is uh, also a, a development with uh, New Holland and Farming and uh, another developer, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, we're not directly involved, but it uh, will be on the uh, uh, the opposite side of, of Interstate 5 from us uh, between uh, Lyons uh, and uh, Magic Mountain Parkway. The... Um, uh, typically, those uh, those uh, shopping centers, uh, marketplaces, uh, appeal to, uh, and, and certainly the leasing thrust that uh, the marketplace will have, will appeal to uh, what we call, again, category killers. But, for example, and not suggesting that uh, um, the deals are done with, with these people, but it would be stores of the nature like Toys R Us or, or Good Guys or other electronic kinds of, of larger square footage retailers. Um, the development will start shortly, and uh, we certainly see that as a strong, positive addition to the draw that we can create in the Santa Clarita Valley for uh, uh, customers. Charles Gill, the uh, regional manager with the Valencia Town Center. What kinds of uh, new stores can Santa Clarita Valley shoppers look forward to seeing at the Valencia Town Center in the future? I see uh, a, a number of different stores uh, being added. Uh, first of all, uh, we're delighted that uh, we have a, um, a signed deal with uh, uh, a major, uh, what we call a lifestyle uh, retailer. Uh, there will be a, um, uh, an Eddie Bauer store here. There will be a, uh, a Disney store locating here, which we hope to have open by Christmas. Uh, we have a number of other lifestyle types of, of uses that we're looking at, whether it's uh, home furnishings, um, or, or other uh, additions to what we would consider uh, your, your environment at home as opposed to another apparel store, or another shoe store, or things of that nature. Um, I certainly see the, uh, the type of store uh, increasing uh, from a, um, a merchandise perspective. 
Uh, we want to uh, uh, open the door for better and better retailers to walk in the door uh, and offer uh, uh, their range of, of uh, uh, merchandise selection to our customers here. We have an excellent base of merchants here now. Uh, they're all doing very well, and we see us expanding on that particular base and broadening out those categories, whether it's in accessories, home furnishings, uh, or uh, uh, particular apparel uses uh, like an Eddie Bauer or Disney might bring. Charles, what plans are in the future for the area around the Valencia Town Center that we might see by the year 2000? I see the... Um, uh, the, the push on, uh, for example, the town square is the center of activity or the hub of activity of this whole planned area. And uh, as, as we finish our development in the shopping center of the, of the restaurants there, I see uh, a further push uh, out across uh, uh, McMean, for example, with uh, uh, low-rise uh, office and uh, multi-use uh, facilities. Uh, there is some housing that's planned in there uh, in the future. Uh, are uh, smaller shops on the first floor levels that would go out from Town Square then and would certainly complement the tenants that uh, we already have within the food court and in the Town Square area. And uh, where will that be? That would be extending uh, further west from Town Square across uh, McBean Parkway through from, from Town Square itself to McBean and then it jumps uh, McBean and uh, continues on the other other parcel once that gets developed with within the master plan framework that uh, New Hall has established. Charles Gill, the regional manager of the Valencia Town Center, what have shoppers asked for that you hope to provide by the year 2000 here in Santa Clarita? That's an easy question to answer. Uh, predominantly, 98% uh, of the interest of, of additional stores at uh, Valencia Town Center surround Nordstrom. So that's a, a very easy question to answer. Uh, we are certainly working with the Nordstrom people on uh, attracting them here. Uh, our company made a uh, a continued uh, presentation effort to them uh, just as late as, uh, as last week, uh, trying to uh, get them to jump uh, their development plans uh, to include Valencia earlier than later, certainly in, in their development activity. Um, again, as I said, part of the difficulty with um, us attracting Nordstrom or any other retailer to Valencia Town Center is not that uh, uh, they don't feel there's, there's – um, Positive reason for attract uh, for for locating here, it's a it's an issue of um, Southern California sales, uh, the whole economic picture and climate. Uh, a lot of retailers aren't interested in um, doing business in Southern California right now from a national basis. In Nordstrom's case, they're uh, receiving a lot uh, stronger uh, customer um, uh, awareness and. Uh, uh, support uh, in their stores uh, in the Midwest and the East rather than uh, rather than in Southern California right now. And it's not that people are turning off to Nordstrom or any other retailers. Sales are generally flat or down in Southern California still. And until those pick up, those sales levels pick up, we're not going to see those levels of, of, um, of retailers attracted here. But uh, certainly Nordstrom is one. Um, we, uh, we accomplished a, a long... Uh, a weighted goal at the shopping center thanks to Valencia National Bank and finally got an ATM located here. Uh, and uh, so I, I think from uh, uh, an individual retailer standpoint, uh, the, the response has been very gratifying from the, the customer base here. We've uh, gotten a lot of referrals uh, and comments that are concierge, and we are following up with each one of those retailers as to how Valencia might fit in with their particular expansion plans. And uh, we have uh, a large number of uh, people, uh, at least uh, four at any one given moment, working on leasing the space and presenting Valencia Town Center to uh, potential retailers. And we look for any opportunity we can to bring an exciting retailer to uh, the fine complement of retailers we have here now. Charles, ultimately, how much room do you have, and how many stores can we expect to see in the Valencia Town Center in the year 2000 if things go as hoped for? In the, the overall development plan, there are uh, spots uh, reserved for three additional department stores of the size and, and quality that are here now, and additional 110 stores. So we would, in essence, double the existing size of Valencia Town Center when the final development is completed. Charles Gill, Regional Vice President with JMB Retail Properties and the Regional Manager of Valencia Town Center with his perspective on retail business, shopping at the Valencia Town Center, in Santa Clarita in the year 2000.